House Resolution Number 225, introduced by Representative Breen, a resolution declared February 4th, 2022, as School Safety Awareness Day in the state of Michigan. And Madam Speaker, we received a floor substitute H1 from Representative Breen, identified as Amendment Number 1. Speaker recognizes Representative Breen. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in support of School Safety Awareness Day, which we had hoped to speak to last week, but was delayed due to snowpocalypse. School Safety Awareness Day should not be limited to a single day. And last week on Friday, February 4th, and in conjunction with Oxford Strong, a community and statewide movement of citizens wearing navy and gold gathered at various schools to support our kids, parents, and educators in Oxford, but also for all victims of school violence. Many school districts are embracing this moment for the movement for the entire month of February. I stand up here today with my colleagues on the School Safety Task Force to ask all of you to join us to contact your local school district and find out if there's a school-sponsored event that you can attend where your community will gather to bring awareness and support to the Oxford community. The loss of Hannah St. Juliana, Tate Meyer, Madison Baldwin, and Justin Schilling from Oxford High School has shattered our state and we grieve with their families, friends, and the entire Oxford community. But nobody escaped death that day at Oxford, nor at Columbine, nor at Sandy Hook, or Parkland, or any of the countless schools that have been targets of gun violence. Children saw it, they witnessed death, it chased them around the building, and it hovers over the survivors. Death took four innocent lives that day at Oxford, and nobody is unscathed. It has permeated all of Oxford, all of Oakland County, all of Michigan. Death stole innocence that day, robbed families, teachers, and first responders of things that can never be recovered. The physical and emotional injuries of the students, educators, and staff at Oxford will be lasting and lifelong, and all victims and their families will need resources and support, and we must ensure that their needs are met. The anger and grief are raw and piercing. And for those devastated families and survivors, it will never disappear. It is unbearable, it is soul crushing, it is unacceptable. It is incumbent upon all of us here to collectively raise our voices and say no more. Take all measures and actions to ensure the safety and well being of our children, our educators, and our school staff. Violence has many roots, no single solution will address it. But there are things that we can do and we can and we must do better. Our kids and educators have a right to attend schools that are safe and free of violence and harassment. Schools and communities across our state lack the mental health experts, counselors, social workers, and psychologists to identify and assist students showing warning signs for depression and violence. Schools need the resources to significantly invest and plan against acts of violence, which includes building security updates, coordination with law enforcement, creating threat assessment teams, ensuring mental health resources and social emotional learning programs are available. As a society, we must assess the ways that firearms are acquired, used, and stored. As the parent of children who has tremendously benefited from social emotional learning, I cannot stress enough the enormity and importance of helping kids cope with these feelings to connect and to give them the tools that they need to work with whatever life throws at them. Everyone has a role in violence prevention. Creating safe school environments requires a comprehensive and coordinated effort, including school-wide, district-wide, community-wide strategies where all institutions, organizations, individuals, and especially parents accept responsibility for the critical roles and to collaborate to establish a positive learning environment for teaching and for learning. Acts of violence have multiple causes and will require multiple solutions to prevent as many tragedies as we can and to heal from the acts that we are unable to stop. Our hearts break for Oxford and for everyone touched by death that day. Please support Oxford Strong and the School Safety Awareness Day today, this week, and in the months and the years to come as we heal from this tragedy, prevent future tragedies, and to help our children in school grow and thrive. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The question before the House is the adoption of House Resolution 225. All those in favor of the, of the resolution will say aye. Those opposed, nay. The resolution is adopted. 